Learn Wealth. Your go-to channel for real estate insights, market charts, and golden opportunities. Hey everyone, it's James Santiago from Learn Wealthy, and today we're breaking down the latest on the Houston real estate market. We'll look at the market as a whole and then dive into some key sub-markets. Let's talk inventory, days on market, price cuts, and what's next for both buyers and sellers. The Houston real estate market has seen some shifts recently with inventory on the rise and properties spending more time on the market. As of now, inventory levels have increased about 3.5 months, up from around 2.8 months earlier this year. While this doesn't necessarily indicate a buyer's market yet, it does give buyers more options and room to negotiate compared to the fast-paced market we saw during the pandemic. Average prices in Houston are hovering around $400,000, though this varies depending on the area with rising interest rates around 6.5% for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. I told you Fed cutting rates is not gonna bring this rate down. You should have watched this video. So yeah, this, this rising interest rates had many buyers recalculating the affordability of these homes. This in turn is leading to price cuts in some segments of the market, particularly in mid to high range homes. Homes are now sitting on the market longer with average days on market around 45 days up from 30 days just a few months ago. This is a good indicator that the market is cooling off for buyers. While the higher interest rates are a challenge, there's good news. With more inventory and price cuts, buyers are in a better position to negotiate, according to some articles I've researched. But as you know, mainstream news is always bullish and it's not considered prices of eggs and groceries. So we're seeing some sellers offering concessions like help with closing costs as they try to attract offers. Sellers are facing a bit more competition, which means they need to price their homes carefully. In English, price it lower. Homes that are priced too high are sitting while well-priced homes are still moving, but even the low-priced home are moving already at a slower pace. Price reductions have become more common, especially in areas where inventories are building up. Now let's dive into a few key sub-markets around Houston. Yeehaw! Texas, baby! Let's go to the Woodlands. The Woodlands continues to be the one of the most sought-after areas with homes priced between $500,000 to $1 million. Woodlands has certainly been moving faster than other areas. However, inventory is rising here too. So sellers need to be more realistic with their pricing. Days on market in the Woodlands have stretched to around 40 days slightly higher than earlier this year. Did everybody take their insulin yet? Because we're about to go to Sugarland. Inventory has also increased and price reductions are becoming more common here too, especially for homes priced above $600,000. Average prices here are just under $400,000 and with more choices on the market, buyers have a bit more leverage. Sellers need to focus on a home presentation and realistic pricing to get their homes sold quickly. In Katy, inventory levels have surged, particularly in the new construction segment. Price cuts are happening across the board, especially in the $400,000 to $700,000 range. Days on market are averaging around 50 days, reflecting a slowdown from the earlier rush of buyers in this area. Buyers looking for more space and newer homes are finding good deals here, especially from builders offering incentives. Cypress is another area where buyers are starting to see more price reductions. Homes in the 300,000 to 500,000 range are still moving, but anything above that is sitting longer. The average days on market here is now close to 55 days. So where's the Houston real estate market headed? With higher rates, we're seeing a cooling off period. The buyers have tapped out, like I said in this video, but Houston's resilient job market and continued population growth are keeping demand steady. Even if it's not as frenetic as it was during the height of the pandemic, we can expect inventory to continue rising slightly, giving buyers more options, and price cuts will likely remain common, especially if mortgage rates stay high. How do you need to know if mortgage rates are going to go down? Don't listen to the mainstream media and don't listen to the Fed. Watch the 10-year U.S. Treasury and watch this YouTube video on the screen. That's your use in real estate market update. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on finance, investing, real estate, and macroeconomics. And remember, let's all learn wealthy together. I'll see you in the next video.